Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to show you how I took an old scuba regulator and made an update to my snuba setup. This one's a whole lot better than the previous one, so check this out. So the first order of business, if I'm going to get anywhere on this, is I've got to cut this old thing off. So let me do that. Alrighty. So let's shove this in there. Uh, it obviously doesn't want to go, but it will. It will go. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, let me put this in the vise and really push, crank down on it. Yeah, that braid inside just not allowing it to stretch much, which of course is its entire job. So... Hmm. Especially isn't going to expand that large. I guess I could drill this out a tad bit and give it enough oomph to get, get over this whole thing and then hose clamp it back down. Hmm. Let me, let me try this here one more time. Nope. Okay, that is just, at least not with my, my strength, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, so i got to come up with something else. Okay, so we've got to go from this hose to this fitting here. Right there. So, I bought a quarter-inch hose barb. We're going to screw those together. First, we're going to use a little Teflon tape. Uh-oh, very little Teflon tape. Oh, Alex. Shoot. Well, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Boy. Did not leave me much at all. Just a couple. I think I've got enough to do this, though. Just about three wraps or so is all it'll take. Ah. Uh. <laughs> So we'll stick these together here. You wrap the tape clockwise always so that as you screw it together, it doesn't want to unwrap your tape. I'll put a wrench on that here in a minute. I'm going to replace this hose clamp with this one because this one's stainless steel, which of course would be good underwater. Slide that on there like so. We'll stick that in there. Bring that right back up. Um... And what size would that be? Three sixteenths? Nope. It's probably a quarter. Sure is. Okay. There we go. Let's put that on the compressor. All right, well, I've got my little McGraw from Harbor Freight here. This is the three gallon hot dog, it was on Black Friday sale for only 50 bucks. So I'm like, I can't pass that up. This would be the cheapest experiment ever, pretty much. So I got my regulator all hooked up, quick connect. Now, the only downside to this compressor that I see right now is it's really loud. So go ahead here and turn it on. Hopefully, underwater, the vibrations and stuff won't go down the hose. But if it is loud underwater, I'll have to come up with some sort of an isolation device so that any vibrations and sound and stuff doesn't travel down into your mouth. Here we go. So I suppose it was true, but I had to go back 16 feet to get it to say 84. Right here where I'm sitting is 95.
Now, since I've made this modification, I've also went ahead and added an air filter that I got from Harbor Freight for a couple bucks, just to be safe, and it works wonderfully. I, you can't even hear or feel the vibrations coming down the hose, and that's the thing I was probably worried most about. But this is something you can definitely do yourself, should you be so inclined, just don't be afraid to try. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.